Hey, Joy Blue here, and today I want to talk about the SQL null or empty. Um, what do we mean by that? Well, first of all, null is the absence of a value, which means we don't. It doesn't actually equal anything. It means we do not have a value in the database. Now, with empty, what we're talking about is an empty string, and so you can see an empty string in the case of SQL here would be tick tick with nothing in it. So a full string is like if I put in Joey. Now this string has four characters, right? Um, even if I put in some spaces, there's still characters in there, they're just spaces. But an empty string has nothing in it. It's just a tick tick. But a null is actually the absence of a value. So let's take a quick look at a table I put together called the vendor table. And this vendor table has the vendor name and the email and I put a couple of values in there. I put a null, so we don't have an email for the Intel, and an empty string for Oracle, which means we don't have an email for Oracle. And you will run into data like this. Um, almost you know, anywhere you go, you'll end up with some bad data. Somehow the bad data gets into the database. So um, this Oracle probably should be an, a null, um, or they both should be empty strings. They should be consistent. Well, what do we want to, how do we, keep from getting those, or in particular, how do we get both the null and the string, it's empty string at the same time? Well, first we need to put our where clause on there, and we need to say where vendor, email, and in order to get the null, what we would do is say is null. So you don't put an equal sign in there, because nothing equals a null, it's unknown, we don't have a value for it, so we have to say is null, it's a special little function, and that'll give us the null. Now in order to get the um, empty string you actually say equals tick tick that's an empty string and there you go and if you want to get both of them you can say where the vendor email equals tick tick or vendor email equals or I'm sorry is null and there's that now there is a little trick of what we can do here to kind of combine it into one there's a function out there that says that's is null. And if I use this function, I can basically check the vendor email, and if it's null, I can make it tick tick. And so every time it sees one, a null, it's going to turn it into an empty string, and then I can compare it to an empty string. So let's see if that actually works. See, it brought back both of those. I've seen people use this inside of joins um, when they need when they have bad data and they need to they have a nullable column they're trying to join. So, anyways, um, that's the SQL null or empty statement. And as always, if you find this helpful, please leave a comment below, click the like button, or subscribe to my channel. And you can also visit me at SQLTrainingOnline.com. And I hope you enjoyed this free video.